What's up? I'm oogie boogie. You know, your teeth. You just you just feel like you got really white teeth if your most of your face is painted black. I'm just saying. Anywho, hello, welcome to another day of 31 days of Halloween. If you are new here or just stopping by, that just means I'm uploading all 31 days in October. Different Halloween costume looks, things. Today, we erased our eyebrows and painted our entire body pretty much green. And then covered up most of that green with black. <laughs> so, today if you could not tell, which you might not be able to, this is my rendition of an oogie boogie. You know, Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. I feel like Jack and Sally are so, so overdone. There's nothing wrong with that. If you want to be Jack or Sally for Halloween, you go on about your bad self. I just didn't want to make a video on Jack or Sally because I feel like there are so many Jack and Sally videos. So I tried to create an Oogie Boogie situation. I tried. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you do. And with all that being wrapped up in a big bow, let's get into the video now. Obviously, we have to start off with the dance party. Then I'm going to pull my hair back. And sadly, we are going to start this video off by covering our eyebrows. If you have lighter hair on your eyebrows like I do, Totally not necessary. I was just trying to be extra. I absolutely hate covering my eyebrows. I'm not very good at it, but I digress. I'm covering my eyebrows up. Once my eyebrow glue is dry, I'm gonna powder over it. And once all that is done, I'm gonna take an orange eyeshadow and pack that over my eyebrow just to try to cancel out the dark bluish tones from my brows. It's whatever. Now I'm just gonna apply some foundation over my entire face and neck. I just like putting down foundation underneath my body paint because I feel like it all comes off easier. Now I'm gonna take a white eyeliner pencil and I'm just gonna map out where I want my eyes and my mouth to be. You don't have to do this. If you do, just make your own eye and mouth design. I was looking at a reference picture uh, from Nightmare Before Christmas of Oogie Boogie. So I'm just adding some really big crazy eyes and a really creepy big smile. I'm also determined to make this Walmart body paint work, so I'm mixing the green and the white to make a lighter pale green, and then I'm applying this over my entire face using a dampened beauty sponge. I was originally trying not to get into my little trace stencils of my eye and mouth, and then I just gave up and covered my entire face and neck in green. I went ahead and changed into the shirt I was going to want to wear at the end of the video and for my thumbnail pictures so that I could see exactly where I needed to stop the body paint. So now I'm just filling in my chest and a little bit more on my neck where my shirt is showing my skin. Once all of that is done and I'm sufficiently green, I am going to go in with a black Mehron Paradise paint on a paintbrush. And I'm just going to start outlining my little tray circles and mouth that I made earlier and fill them in black with body paint. I also decided I didn't like how small my mouth was, so I just went in with my body paint and made it a little wider, longer. I extended the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. 
Also, I recommend you tightline your eyes before you start painting your entire face, but I forgot, so now I'm just going in and tightlining my eyes to completely black them out. I wanted to leave this part in so you guys um, can see. Not only are my looks not that good in general, but on top of that, everyone makes mistakes. I made my paint way too watery here and it started to drip. So all you have to do is wipe it off with the towel, reapply your paint and your foundation, and then you're good to go. So I decided my eyes were a little too round and skeleton-like, so I added like a teardrop shape to the top of both of my eyeball holes. You, you, you can see what I'm trying to do. Now that that green body paint is dry, I'm going in with a darker green body paint from Mayron and a thin brush, and I'm just creating little eyebrow wrinkle situations. I mean, you can see what I'm doing. It's fine. It's fine. Also, I fucked up my nose a little bit, and I'm trying to cover it back up, and I ended up with like a pickle rick nose. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I just kind of shaded all of it a little darker, fanned it out a little bit. Do you, do you. I also went ahead and added smile lines on the edges of my mouth and a little under eye bag wrinkle situation underneath both of my eyes. Now I'm going in with a matte black eyeshadow from a Morphe palette and a giant powder brush and I am just going to fill in all of that black with black eyeshadow to make it more matte. Once that's done, I'm going in with a dark green eyeshadow and shading underneath those eye wrinkle, eye bag wrinkles, eyebrow situations. And I'm also gonna go ahead and shade underneath my smile. Going back in with that green body paint, I'm just going to add some stitching on those under eye line bag situations. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm adding stitching underneath my eyes. I was going to do it on the top lines over my eyes and then I decided not to and to make them more eyebrow like. Taking a white liquid eyeliner, I'm just going to trace around the eyes and my mouth just to add a little bit of a highlight. I started out with the same white eyeliner to draw the stitching around my eyes and my mouth and then I switched to a body paint and a thinner brush, but I'm just going around and adding some stitching. I'm only doing the top and the sides of my eyes on the outer edge instead of all the way around my eye, but I do go all the way around my mouth. Going in with the blue body paint from Mayron, I'm now going in around my mouth and on my eyes a little bit and I'm just drawing some wiggly little worm shapes, if you catch what I'm trying to say here. Yeah, I add a few coming out of my mouth and all around my eyes and after this I go in with a bright orange body paint and create a few more little wormy situations coming out of my eyes and my mouth.
This look is now complete, so I'm just going to throw on my wig and tie my shirt up, and I added a weird tint onto this just because I want it to be really green. So, that is it for this look. I hope you guys liked it. Came out a little weird. It's fine. Um, we're just gonna act like my arms are painted green and my hands, okay? Okay. I have to go to work. I actually need to get in the shower and go to work, so... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you did. Also, I feel the need to explain that I was munching snacking on gummy worms during this video because my original idea was to glue the gummy worm like coming out of my mouth. I don't know, that could still be kind of cool. What do we think? No. Whatever, that was my original intention and I just decided to draw them on, not very well, but it is okay, okay? We try our best here. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get off here, stop rambling, because I don't know what I've edited this video down to, but right now it's like an hour and a half long, so. <laughs> I will see you guys all tomorrow in my next one. Bye.